that's enough of that crap. Yeah. How you doing tonight, Billy? Okay. Good to hear. And Mr. Twinkie? Damn good. Good to hear. We got a great, oh, hold on. My notes are all messed up. Okay, here we go. Tonight on Color, how are you guys doing tonight? Yes. Tonight on uh, Color TV, we have uh, a couple special guests for you. Are you interested to find out who they are? Yeah. Okay. So, Ben, the watchmakers. The watchmakers. <laughs> and this is going to get crazy. I don't know. We might not be able to do it here. We might have to actually go to remote to do this. But we have Nitz Swenson, who is a self-mutilation <laughs> performance artist. Is that correct, Mr. Twinkie? Nitz? <laughs> is that his name, Nitz Swenson? <laughs> I guess that's the call I took, Nitz Swenson. So you booked this guy? Yeah. Yeah, I like that kind of stuff. I saw him out in the bar and I go, well, you know, hey, we could use this. What kind of stuff does he do? Well, I don't want to get into it right here. Uh, I think it's more than you have to see it, if you know what I okay. mean. Okay. Well, yeah, we'll wait around. It's self mutilation. <laughs> I figured that much. Something I think we all could uh, love. Okay, well, we'll see if we don't have, uh, we'll see if we can't get him out here. If not, we'll have to go find him. Excuse me, just drawer needed to be closed. Well, that's funny, huh? <laughs> How would you like it if your drawers weren't closed, Missy? <laughs> Come on, get your minds out of the gutter. We're going to come back with some more color TV with uh, the uh, Chuckle Preston from The Watchmaker. thing you've ever played and then you had to go ahead and put one of those in. Screw you. Screw <laughs> <laughs> you. Screw you. Screw you. You're a long haired girl. <laughs> You're a girl too. Okay. Hey, we got Chuck here. Chuck. Chuck Lepresti from The Watchmakers. How are you doing tonight, Chuck? <laughs> My notes are messed up once more. Chuck, how are you tonight? <clears throat> um, swell. Swell, huh? Yeah. Well, how do... Just kidding. Well, you, you got uh, the watchmakers here tonight, huh? Uh, well, most of us. Most? Well, well you're all here. Yeah. Remember, you're all here. Right. <laughs> uh -huh. This is not a different night. You are all here. <laughs> <laughs> so you got the watchmakers. Oh, we're all here. And uh, who's, who's all uh, going to perform for us tonight? Uh... Just a, a sort of group of musicians. Me and Greg are the only people that really matter. You and Greg. Yeah. Okay. Everyone else is just basically there to fill up space. Cool. And this is your little, I don't know if we have a camera. Whoever's on, I don't even, I'll just hold it. You want to get it? We'll talk about it till it comes on. And this is your uh, little demo deal here? That's the older demo. That's the old one? Mm-hmm. Then why do I have it? Because the new one's not done yet. Because okay. there's a lot of production that goes into making a good demo tape. If we were making like a Jim Toth demo tape, it'd be done. Okay. I'm, I'm not. I'm not hurt. I've been. I've been. What Bill said. I've been called fat on a week ago. I don't care anymore. Pick and pick and pick. One day I'm gonna snap, kids. <laughs> and you're all gonna get it. <laughs> I'm sorry, Chuck. I'm in therapy right now. Uh, We're okay. kind of going over those things. So, uh, so you and Greg are doing this. What, what kind of music would you say it is? Because it's kind of I heard some of it. Maybe. Well, uh, I'd say it's like an amalgamation of of two different styles of music. Who's that? Kind of a bipolar unity of two opposite forces in music coming together <laughs> to create a new sound. And okay. Uh, <laughs> It feels like he's got like 103 fever. If we can get some paramedics down here, he's using big words again. But that's cool. No, that's... it's just like an alternative type of thing. It's pleasant and... It's pleasant sometimes and then it... it well, gets, I, it yeah, gets... I think it's always pretty pleasant. I mean, me. but then it gets like, you know... We get aggressive. Jumping. I yeah. think so, yeah. But, uh, you know, we're not, we're not, you know, like, metal. <laughs> 
or you know, stuff like that. Did you see that? Metal. <laughs> For those of you out there who enjoy the heavy metal genre of music, so do we all here at Color TV. Chuck's opinions are expressed solely from his own interpretation of what music means to him. So if anyone was offended by any comments made here tonight on Color TV, we apologize. I'm sorry, Chuck. I, I, I don't. That's our little... You gotta, you know, What's because you assume the responsibility. <laughs> Come on, Colonel Parker, we don't got all night here. Well, I just want to make sure I get it all right. I don't know. We got the first transmission for Color TV, and we're coming in live, okay? Uh, live? We're going to come in live. Jim said to meet him uh, on Thursday evening. Right. At 6 o'clock, and he said to send the transmission right then. Oh. Billy, how you holding up, son? Oh, God. Okay. Well, let me see if I can get a good shot of you here, Billy. Man, that cactus juice is hot. Smile for me, baby. Ah, that's the way I like it, Billy. That's the way I like it, my friend. All right, Colonel Parker. Clock says about uh, 10 seconds to 6 o'clock. We're going to go ahead and try All right, first. remember the motels. The motels <coughs> on the way to the Memphis. Park. Motels on the way to Memphis. All right, audio check. Elvis. Elvis 1 is still alive. Elvis is still alive. How's that, Colonel? We got a reading here, my friend. All right, let's go then. Let's go, boy. Give me a countdown. Okay, 9, 7, 6, 5, 3, all right, here, let me find a button for this here thing. Uh, okay, and go. I got to try to commute myself. And somehow. then if you did that, then I would have to uh, escort you out to the door. I, I wouldn't want to get thrown out. I know you wouldn't, Chuck, because Color TV is a place for fun and frolic all the day through. Don't you, don't you think so? Yeah. Chuck, let's hold hands. <laughs> Call you have TV. He's a little, little twinkie. He's a little, little twinkie. And what do you know? He's a little twinkie. Hi, how you doing tonight, Mr. Twinkie? How's it going, Tote? Pretty good. How about yourself? I'm all right. I'm a little cranky. Uh... Just watching John Davidson on TV. That guy pisses me off. You watch a lot of TV. Do you ever see uh, the show Color TV? No. Never I don't it? have cable. Oh, okay. So you just get the uh, primetime deal. Right, right. I, I just watch the regular channels. That's just good. Yeah, it is good. So who's that? Uh, this is uh, Chuck Lepresti from The Watchmakers. Of Chuck La what? Chuck Lewenda from... Uh, oh, I thought you said Chuck Latesti. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> and Chuck Lepresti. I just thought that you meant he was real crabby. No. So, I thought it was Doug Llewellyn, but... Nice to meet you. <laughs> you all right? Do you need a doctor or something? Uh, I have a portable phone back here. I can call one very quickly. Uh, no, Spongehead. <laughs> oh, so we're going to be like this, huh? <laughs> huh? <laughs> Dickhead? <laughs> all right. <laughs> Can I rip off his eyebrows on the show? I know they'll probably beat that out, but it's all right. I think we all get the idea. If we don't, somebody's getting in trouble. So where'd Bill go? Uh, I don't know. Bill disappeared sometime, like, right before you came on, and it was just like Bill was gone, and I was so enticed with Chuck's conversation at the time. He huh. just, like, disappeared. Almost hmm. like someone stole him through using... Adam pulling. If you don't know anything about that, I'll have a seminar on I don't want to know what Adam's doing, okay? No, Adam's like in... Oh, Adam's like molecules. Yeah, like molecules. Oh, yeah, I graduated college, you know. Sure you did. So, uh, what's... <laughs> what? This what's is... Chuck on there for? Chuck is a uh, guitar player of the Watchmakers. Did I already not say that? Are you... Oh, a band ahead of its time, huh? <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do you guys make watches at all, like in your spirit? Actually, that's funny that you should say that, because the name's kind of interesting, because okay. it came from an Albert Einstein quote, because, like, they, you know, he worked on making the nuclear bomb and everything. Oh, he did? And uh, everyone, like, started arguing about should Yeah, yeah, I'm real interested. I got to go. Really, like, <laughs> blow up the world. I'm interested. So he said that if I would have known all these moral developments would have come up, then I would have just been a watchmaker. Fantastic. It's There's kinda... Albert Einstein for you. Straight from the throat and epiglottis of Charles Lepresti III. That's right. I am, I am the third. 
I know. I don't want to name my kid the fourth though. Don't. Yeah, because that that's like four. <laughs> <laughs> Dunk, 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 dunk. Chuck, is there uh, anything you want to say? Oh, bye, Mr. Twinkie. He's gone. He's, he's watching That's Incredible. Just like this show. Isn't that incredible? Chuck, is there anything you want to say before we uh, go to the uh, band segment? No, oh, just uh, thanks for the opportunity to be on your wonderful show and be insulted by your sponge-headed puppet. <laughs> That's okay. Sponge-headed It was really, puppet. like, worth it. I understand. It was worth it. And we're gonna, um, and we're gonna take a look at what you guys. Is there anything you want to say about the band? <coughs> um, like, well, like that they're not all just there to fill up space. No, but actually no, no. Well, you know, actually, people have really devoted a lot of time recently, and and I like stopped working for two days and almost got fired, oh, okay. as the rest of the band didn't go to school. Well, that's good. Because they're in school, and I, I don't I don't go to school. I, I did, but I, I for many years, Chuck. Yeah, I, I know you're a scholar. Going. No. no. Well, thank you, and we're going to see you doing the song Liquid. So stay tuned for more Color TV.
Well, welcome back to Color TV. We're kind of confused right now because Bill is still gone. We don't know where he is. He's missing. We phoned his parents and we phoned the authorities. We're just kind of waiting for him to come back. We're very worried. Uh, tonight I have with me Mr. Nitz Swenson. Nitz, how you doing tonight? Good. I'm doing pretty good. Nitz is a self-mutilation artist, am I correct? That's correct. Now, what exactly is the art of self-mutilation? Well, Jim, it's very interesting that you should ask that because a lot of people have asked me, what, do you, what do you exactly do you do? And like I did, so get to the point, Nitz. Yes. <laughs> um, basically, you can hire me for parties. Okay. College, college parties, I'm, a lot of malls need me for when they're opening up a new store. They hire Nitz Swenson, the self-mutilation artist. And basically, I just mutilate my body. So you, you hurt yourself for the joy of vomit. That's right, that's right. Wow. That's very... Isn't that kind of a risky business? Well, it is, but I've taken some philosophy courses in uh, college. Actually, as a matter of fact, that's all I took at college. And you can train your mind to not feel the pain before yeah. you actually do, do the self-mutilation. Strange. Yeah. N now, Nitz, where th this Nitz Swenson, that sounds kind of like uh, Swedish or... No. Norway. My name's Steve White. <laughs> and when I first started, you know, I had my card, nobody, there was no business, but once I had Nitz Swenson, they thought I was some European guru. Yeah, but. Of pain. But Speaking no. Speaking of uh, European gurus of, Sp of pain, I'd like to introduce you to my friend, Mr. Twinkie. Why don't you come on out, Mr. Twinkie? <laughs> it's Mr. Twinkie, everybody, come on. How you doing tonight, Mr. Twinkie? kind of busy right now, uh, but uh, I could stay here for a moment. What do you need? Well, I'd like to introduce you to my good friend, uh, Nitz Swenson, self-mutilation artist. Nitz Swenson? Yes. What kind of name is that? Well, as I just said, Mr. Twinkie, it's a stage name. Oh, I wasn't listening. Uh, I'm very busy uh, down in the basement doing a few things. <laughs> now, I have a list here of some people that you've worked with and shows and stuff, because you've toured the country, correct? That's right. And these are some names that Twinkie has also worked with us, so I was wondering if you guys oh, wow. maybe could... Uh, I've worked with a lot of the greats, my friend. I have on here Tom Dreesen. <laughs> That's right. Tom Dreesen. Opened up for Tom Dreesen, who... Uh, the late Sammy Davis Jr. Oh, God. I worked with him when he was alive, Don't though. Oh, really? Well, he worked with them all. And up in Northern Illinois University, Sean Maj Micah. <laughs> all that magic geek, huh? Yeah, yeah. He had a, he worked... I had a story about Sean. We had this special routine made up where he saw as a person in half, but... The, the joke was that he really does go halfway through with it 
and oh, it was people were scared, but sounds hilarious. They got their money's <laughs> worth, and you know. Now is this like a big clean? Do you have a big laundry bill and stuff? Because I do. Is this is why this is all I have tonight? Because most of the time my clothes are bloody, ruined. Yeah, it's horrible. Well, Nick's great to meet you. Oh, do you have to leave now, Mr. Twink? Uh, yeah, like I said, uh, I'm kind of busy uh, right now. Okay, well, what, if, if you'd like to stay up here, maybe we can jump right to some of Nitz's. He's well, I'd like to stay up, but that's, like I said, I'm real busy. Oh. So uh, that's why I got to get going right now, if you know what I mean. Oh, sure, stay up. Okay. okay. Nice to meet you, Nitz. Thanks, Mr. Twinkie. Well, Nitz, why don't we uh, go through... Uh, okay, yeah, I could do a little demonstration. Oh, jeez. You all right? I'm okay. Okay, now Nitz, what are you going to be doing for us while you're putting that back on? Well, a very popular thing I used to do for the college is like, they like a lot of, a lot of wacky kitchen utensil tricks. Okay. This uh, cheese grater here has different, different gratings. I don't know what you call them. I just use it for my act. And I'm going to take this and I'm going to grate my chest. I know it sounds. <laughs> it does. Well, but I'm going to give it a shot. Now remember what I said before about preparation? Yeah. You have to psych yourself before you do this. Okay. Not that I recommend anyone do this at home, because I haven't trained. You need a little psych. What you mean it didn't tape, Colonel Parker? I don't know if it taped here. Here, take a look at this. This Hummer. You might have the lens cap on, still. No, you... No, I, I took the thing right off. Son, you, you don't know how to work the damn camera. Well, look, I'm a manager, my man. Let's I see. Don't... It don't work. Let's go back and set up again. You sure you got it ready this time? Because well, we still got to do a review. You know, Hotel always, Bible review. Your hair really glistens in this light. Billy, I'm a superstar, for Christ's sake. <sighs> All right, now you just let us know when you're ready, because that transmission's got to go through. Jim's probably all upset now. Oh. What, Colonel Parker? You don't even know how to work the camera. Well, let me get. Keep it, let keep me it take still. A real quick. Keep it. No, don't take no. You're gonna get drunk. God, I'll take that. Oh. He's been with me since a long time ago. Uh, all right, here we go. All right, go. all right, Elvis. All right, give me, give, give me count. Where's that button again? Uh. All right, go. Oh. All right. Now, what are you going to do? All right, this next trick, very popular also. Kids love, kids love watching teeth. From a kid, you trip on. Teeth, all right. Come on, let's go, 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 go,
this thing ain't too wet. Shut up there, back there. We're trying to tape. Well, All right. Mr. Parker keeps hitting the light stand. All right. Put the camera on me. I'm going to star this. Uh, All right, and then I'll do this one. <laughs> Help me. Help me for a illness. Get a, a doctor. Oh. <laughs> if it worked once, I can fool him again, you know what I mean? <laughs> All right, well, welcome back to uh, Color TV. Uh, cool? Cool? I'd like to thank our guests, the watchmakers. <laughs> Fabulous. <laughs> and Nitz Swenson, self-mutilation oh, artist. Hey. All right, Nitz. Uh, did you enjoy the show tonight, Mr. Twinkie? I like that Nitz Swenson uh, chap. I thought you would. Yeah, a lot of... Got bloods in, hello, hello. <laughs> Been at the bottle a little bit recently. Uh, a lot of blood in it, I liked it. All right. Well, Billy, why don't you take us out and uh, we'll Wait, be back. Are what? Are you gonna comment on me? Oh, where were you? I was here the whole time. Are you sure? Yep. I don't think so. Oh, okay. <laughs> Bill, thank you. Uh, we'll see you next week. Bye -bye.